Well, this is normally the time of year that graduation ceremonies are happening around yeah. the state, but obviously things are different, yeah. very, very different. And that holds especially true for a welding student at Salt Lake Community College. Yeah, we caught up with one student before the campus closed, and while the future is now a little less certain when you live behind a torch, challenge is a simply way of life. New specialist Ashley Kewish has her story. This is a world of men. An empire of masculinity where torches are fueled with raw testosterone. And Q80's montage. But Kylie Rubis disagrees. Though her hair is often hidden behind a hood, this is her home. I grew up on a farm in Montana and it was like, you didn't ask someone else to fix your stuff, you fixed it. She was told she couldn't be here. I wanted to do everything the guys did. She was told she didn't belong. I was so caught up in what other people thought of me. Kylie tried studying welding in high school, but was told women weren't wanted. And I actually listened to them, and that breaks my heart. Even now, even learning to weld at the college level, Kylie isn't supposed to be here. And it had nothing to do with being a woman. They couldn't find the heartbeat, completely unresponsive. Um. Riding along in rural Montana, Kylie's life stopped. We were going about 70. We were passing. Someone tried to jump the highway, and we just hit head on. I suffered a stroke, three fractures in my back. I'm actually missing a piece of my L3 vertebrae. I broke my hip in two places, and I fractured my pelvis in four places. Kylie drifted in and out of consciousness for days, nights of depression years of regret. I had to go through speech therapy because I couldn't count to three. And whatever her plans were, the doctors said no. Until finally, Kylie was fed up. I was so sick of people telling me, you can't walk, you're never gonna walk again, you're never gonna hold down a job, you're never gonna go to school. It was just like, live on disability the rest of your life. And I just looked at him and I was like, watch me. That cold winter night crumpled on the floorboard. Kylie now says it's the best thing that ever happened to her. I call it my second birthday because I, I was reborn a different person that day. And I, I went after what I truly wanted to become. She still goes to therapy. She still deals with pain. But Kylie says she's fitting in just fine. Leonard! Leonard! Come on! Her message? You don't have to be a man to melt metal. I love just being a woman and, like, succeeding and doing well at this. It creates such a good example. And above all else, she wants to tell the world that when life says no, all you have to say is watch me. You can do whatever you want. Don't ever let anyone else tell you you can't do something. Great attitude there. That was Ashley Kewish reporting. We shot that story back before the campus closed down and met up with Kylie again a few days ago to see what's changed. Well, she's been working as a mechanic in the grounds department at the Salt Lake Community College, as well as doing some of her studies online. She says it's been easy to keep up with the theory aspects of welding, but there are some parts of the class you simply have to do in person, which hasn't been possible. She was set to graduate in December and hopes that can still happen. In the meantime, she says having a job at the school is helping her stay fresh. I'm the biggest believer in this school. And because I'm a mechanic here, like, I still get to weld here. Like, I still get to, like, teach myself, like, I mean, this equipment right here. Like, I don't know anything about this stump grinder, but I'm doing a full oil change on it right now. <laughs> well, the college summer term starts tomorrow with some student services opening. They say ha they have people working right now on ways to get Kylie back into the lab safely so she can make up what she needs to. As for the job prospects for a welder right now, Kylie says everything is up in the air, but she's remaining positive. Good